for long use and what's short long? Do you want to get involved with it? Absolutely. Uh, once again, I do want to reiterate my thanks to Cow Coffee for uh, sponsoring us in case they have agents in the room spying on us. Uh, to pay money for their coffee. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Filippo for bringing his students. This is their last time here. The uh, students here from France are sprinkled throughout the room. Thank you guys for coming. We appreciate it. businesses that you've seen present here if you'd like to get them a new market over in France. I think they would. <laughs> I'm going to kick it over to Chris with the senior source now. I will get your PowerPoint set up, but uh, take the other end of the age spectrum for us. Craziness and 
and brings it into uh, a five-step process. Now, the first step, be proactive. We always, 90% of the time, we pass this step because of a crisis situation. But for those people who are pre-planning or planning early, we'll help them with early detection. It may be signs of, you know, does mom and dad need help in their home or is it time to move into assisted living? Step two, we'll take a look at their legal needs. We'll find out, do they have a power of attorney? Do they have their health care insurance information? Do they even know what the difference is? And we'll help them find the right attorney in the area. Step three, how do you pay for this care? What's the difference between Medicare and Medicaid? That term is often used. People are always like, well, is this Medicare or Medicaid? They don't know the difference. Do they, does mom and dad have a long-term care insurance policy? Or do they have you know, VA benefits, they qualify, how do we know? So step four, we'll take a look at what type of care they need. Should we find care in their home or do we move into assisted living? What type of senior housing options are out there and what can we do for mom and dad? And then step five. Step five, we'll go into uh, the different resources. So not just the housing, the care, the financial part of the book. Does mom and dad need hearing aids or do, does mom and she on oxygen? We need to find a medical equipment to find them. Well, we'll help them find those resources in their local area. So we work with providers such as home care agencies, assisted living, independent living, and I could just go on and on and on and on. But this is just a small sample of the people that we work with on a daily basis. So really what we do is we put caregivers and families who are caring for their loved one, and we help them make better decisions, better informed decisions. And as a, as a result, we provide providers with high quality needs. So how do we make money? Well, Depends on a few things. Versus a subscription-based company, so we charge anywhere between fifty to five hundred dollars per month. And it depends on a lot of variables: the industry, whether an elder law attorney or assisted living facility. It depends on the search volume in that area and the geographic location, and, and the demographics of the density of that area. So where are we at today? Right now, we have three hundred providers in the state of Florida. We're moving into Denver, Colorado. We expect to have six hundred providers in the next. Uh, year or by the end of this year, and we're working on partnerships with organizations like Alzheimer's, AARP, and Department of Affairs. So, I guess we're rolling questions. Yeah. So. <laughs>
that information as part of our vetting process, which already exists. We can find that in ACA, uh, the ACA website, which is the state of Florida website. But is the, is the consumer then able to see you know, the difference yeah. between these two wings of yeah, the same they're, both, they're both actually, when they're, when they're going through the inspection process, they're being inspected based on the recap side, and they're also being inspected based on the long suit care side. So like those reports would pull up, like when you pull up that facility. They would both be in there. And you could see, I mean, you actually would see everything from like food service to the care side, to the administration of medication side, to the paperwork side, you can see all that stuff. Right, as far as consumers coming in. Um, right now we have somewhere between, I think last time I checked, it was like 2,500 per month um, in here in Florida. Um, but a lot of our traffic too is coming through, uh, like we have PPC campaigns that we've set up, so basically we're driving the traffic um, off of like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Um, and some of that traffic's not counted. So on those, those are actually probably similar to maybe four to five thousand organic, maybe about twenty five hundred. So is it the uh, is it the actual patient themselves that's coming? Is it the family? Who Ninety nine percent of the time it's the adult child. I mean, in most cases, it's rare. The, the other situation you find is that maybe you have um, the spouse who is, is taking care of their you know their spouse, but there's one of them is, is more independent than the other and is trying to help them out. Probably it doesn't make sense obviously with your current company, but is the 
a kind of back-end operation of your site uh, scalable in such a way that you can go into a completely different industry. So that if I'm buying a car, right, I need to, to look at the prices for cars, I need to deal with maybe my bank for financing that car, insurance, the car, things like that. Anything that requires a number of different sources that I would like to see ranked by reliability and, and things like that. Because uh, is yeah. the back end kind of well, designed to do that? Yeah, because uh, the technology really exists already. It's just a matter of like, I think the harder and the labor intensive part is developing it so that like when, we, when we're crawling the internet for that information, that when we're getting it back, we're, we're, we're putting it into, we're translating it to like fit somewhere on our side that makes sense for like, what our service is. So like on a, on a, on a maybe a system living facility, we would grade it by like, the inspection reports, reviews, and this stuff. So all those things would make up maybe our score. And that could be, just, that could be transparent to those other industries for people that maybe better understood them like new old important things. Organizations that can help us you know, just promote um, you know, what we're trying to do. 